fucking sun shines. That was a good time. <laughs> syrup. <laughs> Motherfuckers finally made it out of the Cannonball Deli for the second time in two days. Heading back to the ATC. I left my pack up there, so I guess I'll fucking try to get my ass motivated and hop back on trail, man. We're not gonna go too far. Just want to get back in the woods, get in my fucking tent tonight. So clouds are looking pretty gnarly up over the river there, but hopefully holds off. God damn, that burrito is fucking good. All right. See you back on trail, man. All right, mofos, here at Jefferson Rock behind me. To my right is Shenandoah River. To my left is the Potomac River. And the fucking train going to D.C. You can hear in the background. Pretty fucking cool. My own trail, man. Shit. Feels fucking good. Harbor's Fairly, man. Can't say enough cool shit about that fucking town. So much goddamn history, the Civil War and everything. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I read that that fucking town was traded back five fucking times from the Civil War. Pretty fucking insane, man. But cool buildings, history. I mean, you could spend a fucking day in that town easy. I basically did. I zeroed without zeroing. That's how I usually roll it. Roll in there in the morning. Spent all day and shit, and usually, you know, turns into a fucking zero. So, whatever, we're back on following white blazes, man. Get on down to Pennsylvania. Ah, there goes the train. Right on time, man. I fucking love trains. I had an obsession with trains for as long as I can fucking remember. I've got a locomotive tattooed in my forearm. Used to walk up and down train tracks as a kid, as a lot of young kids do. 
hide cigarettes and shit in there, little boxes and whatnot, chewing tobacco, got all, got to have your fucking red man. Anywho, ah, I should have been a fucking conductor. You know, I, I met a, there was a dude in the hostel last night, old timer, he's section hiking it. He's a retired conductor, train conductor. I racked his fucking brain and uh, asked him a million fucking questions because that, that job has always fascinated me. Um, I asked him, what's the difference between a through hiking and being a train conductor? He says the mode of transportation, that's fucking it. It's the same, same goddamn concept. You get on a fucking train, you go to the next town, you stuff your fucking face, you drink your ass off, and you keep pushing on again. There's no fucking difference. It's just the mode of transportation, pretty fucking cool. Hell yeah, man. Oh, shit balls. All right, I'm about halfway up to climb out of town. It's a hot one, boys. Uh, it's gonna be hotter this week. It's supposed to get up to 97 at some point this week, so. Stay fucking hydrated, man. To uh, take fucking siestas during the day or something, but fuck that 97 degree heat walking all goddamn day. All right, well, tempted to camp here. It's a decent spot. Fortunately, there's no water. Next shelter's two miles, and the water source is like a quarter mile down a fucking mountain, so whatever. You should stay here. Don't fucking just conserve your water what you got. I got two liters. Or go up to the shelter and fucking get your ass down to the water source. I think I'm going to do that. It's like 4.30, so. Might as well get to that first shelter. We'll have water for the morning, especially if it's going to be this fucking hot. I got to load up in the morning, so. Let's get to it, man. Mofos, we are at the Edward B. Garvey Memorial Shelter. Pretty dope shelter. It's like a fucking log cabin style. Got an upper decker in there too, but I got the duplex set up over there. Not much for tending around here. There's some spots, but it's fucking rocky as shit and uneven as fuck, so whatever. That'll work. Close to the shelter. The water source was like fucking half a mile down the fucking mountain, so I put an extra mile just getting fucking water, but I'm loaded up. No worries. Join me some goddamn ramen noodles and we'll holler at you motherfuckers in the morning. Oh, 